Hi guys, um, my name is Tudor, I'm from Romania and you guys call me SKD. Uh, today I decided to do uh, Q&A, my first Q&A in 11 years. Uh, so I'm sorry about the camera quality, I'm using my laptop. Uh, I do use a microphone, an external mic, so I hope you can hear me good. So, let's see. Uh, my English uh, is not great, my spoken English, so uh, bear with me, okay? Let's see, we got some Patreon questions and some normal questions from the comment box. Uh, so, let's see, question number one. Is this a robot voice? No. Uh, I do have a narrator uh, from uh, Canada, he records my videos, my, my narrations. I make the scripts and he does the voice. Uh, that's because, like I said, my spoken English is not great, so I wanted some quality for you guys. Uh, I used to have uh, like eight videos so that were made with a robot, but uh, I recently deleted them and I will uh, remake them uh, with my narrator. So no more videos like that. Question number two: Is that your voice? No. Like I said, uh, I have a Canadian narrator, uh, he records the voice, I only do the script and the uh, video editing. What else? Mm. Where do you get all these colored pictures? I've only seen that in black and white. Yeah, uh, I color pictures and uh, I restore old photos like mm, ripped black and white photos and bring that to life. Uh, I like to do that and I don't usually do that on all my videos if the photo quality is really bad then I will attempt to restore it and uh, give you guys some better quality of picture and I also do that for my thumbnails uh, most of the pictures are black and white and I color them before I make the thumbnail so I color them. Okay. What else? Let's see. What is the name of the song at the end of the video? Uh, the name of the song is uh, Beat the Elephant. Uh, so it's a funk song. I like funk. Uh, I like making music. Uh, and uh, I used to be a musician. Uh, I play the clarinet and the saxophone, of course, because basically the same thing, uh, you just hold it differently. Uh, I can play the piano, I can play the guitar, not great at guitar, but yeah, I make music. SKD music uh, on SoundCloud, okay? What else? Of all the videos you created dealing with her murder, which murder disturbs you the most? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, for me, it's always hard to research uh, child killers. Uh, I have a five-year-old myself and uh, it's disturbing to research such uh, videos like Wesley Allen Dodd, uh, Albert Fish, and uh, maybe the most disturbing case I research is the Erica, pa Erica Parson case. Parsons, I believe. Yeah, I didn't make a video about it yet, but uh, it's very disturbing. Maybe you can look it up. Very disturbing case, yeah. Moving on. Why can't you say rape and sexual assault? For obvious reasons, YouTube won't let me. Uh, it's a rule, unwritten rule, but it's a rule. Every time I use rape or sexual assault, uh, they demonetize my video. If I mute them and write on the screen, they don't demonetize my video. So, if I want to make money from my videos, uh, I have to mute rape and sexual assault and pedophile. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Next question. If you could ask any killer a question, who would you ask and uh, what would the question be? Okay, um, I don't know. Maybe Henry Lee Lucas? 
I would be interested how many people did he actually kill because um, he had uh, three confirmed kills and uh, eight contested, I believe. And uh, I was wondering what the actual number was. So yeah, Henry Lucas. Next question. I'd love to know how and when you started getting interested in serial killers. Um, about 12 years ago, I believe. Uh, I liked serial killer documentaries just as much as you guys do. And uh, I created a personal playlist. So I created a channel and uploaded someone else's videos on that channel just to have a personal playlist and uh, keep the videos I liked uh, because they were getting deleted off YouTube very often. So I couldn't find them anymore. anymore. So uh, I created that and with documentaries from Discovery ID and a and &E and things like that and forgot about it for a while, maybe a year or so. And uh, when I came back, I had uh, about 10,000 subscribers and likes and comments and things like that and uh, decided to upload some more. So I upload some more uh, videos about serial killers, but also uh, from Discovery and uh, A&E, I didn't make my own yet. Uh, and I got to about 25,000, maybe, before I decided to make my own videos and uh, monetize the channel. So I deleted everything and uh, started making my own videos. Uh, that's how it started a long, long, long time ago. Yeah, and it was very slow, very slow. Yeah, what else? How long does it take you? No, how long does it take for you to get your story together? Well, uh, it depends on the case. Uh, if it's a high-profile case with lots of media coverage, uh, I can search it in a few hours. Uh, but if it's a lesser-known serial killer, serial killer, uh, it can take up to a week or so. Yeah, very hard. Okay, that's it for now. Maybe I'll make another one in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber to my channel. I really appreciate that. And maybe consider subscribing to my other channel, Crime World. Uh, same narrator, same video layout, just not about serial killers. If you're interested in general true, true crime videos, maybe subscribe to them. I'll, I'll leave in, in the description uh, the link. Uh, I hit 50k yesterday on uh, on Crime Vault. Hopefully, I get it to 100,000 next year. Uh, the next video on this channel will be about a lesser known serial killer, so stay tuned for that. Also, a big shout out for my moderators uh, who do a great job of keeping my channel safe uh, during the premieres. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, that being said, like my videos or else, and uh, good night from Romania. And subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Like my, my shirt, my hoodie, yeah? Okay, take it away, boys.